cooking in the kitchen with Oyami. It's so good, 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 good. Hey, what's up, guys? It's another beautiful day in Fenlo, and today I'm gonna bring you along in my cooking because it has been a while since I make a cooking video. So today I'm planning to make my delicious fish stew, which I'm gonna do with, uh, what's the name of that fish again? I forgot, I forgot the name. But it's a white fish. Um, tilapia? No, not tilapia. Um, panga. Yes, panga. Panga filet. So I'm gonna use panga filet and I'm gonna use some fresh veggies and we're gonna eat it with potato i'm gonna put the potato in the oven so that they get a little bit more crispy because my children like crispy crispy things and me i don't i don't care i like also normal soft potatoes you know just cook them and eat them like that but the children prefer fried so i'm gonna make some fried potatoes so you're gonna join me cooking mm me on this light here because ugh, I still need to fix the lighting in my kitchen it's not that best light but yeah we just gonna do it with this so this is the panga filet I just put some salt on it and a little bit of water and as usual I'm gonna put some ginger ginger garlic onion and the one pepper and one pepper and I'm gonna blend it all together cut it blend it flush it inside and then I will steam the fish People who are familiar with my cooking, they know I always use the same method. I don't like to use too much herbs. I don't like to use anything that's not natural. So that's good. Um, I don't know how I do it, but every time I do it, even though I only use ginger, garlic, pepper, onion, my food always tastes different. Even me, I don't know how I do it. Oh, and of course I use salt. But I use like the fresh sea salt. Sometimes the half, the rough one, and sometimes the, the soft one, the, the one, the grinded one, yes. Let me see if Oyami feels like helping me out. Oyami! So guys, it's almost the big day! Almost! I'm so excited! This video will come out probably on the due day, but anyway, it doesn't matter. My song is coming out and I hope you guys are ready. I hope you're very ready because I am very ready. And I am so curious of what you people think of the song. So in this video, I want to talk a little bit about how the song came to existence and what it actually means for me to have written that song the way it is. Because people may not understand the way I um, wanted the song to be. So the song is actually about all of us that when we grow up we have a certain image a certain dream about the perfect guy or girl or woman you know the perfect person for you and he needs to have a certain stature he needs to have certain looks um, maybe financially you want him to be okay you want that's what all women want by the way but you get me you, you have like a an image of 
like a dream image of how you want your partner to be but then as a child or as a as you're growing up you fantasizing about that person and you hope you're gonna meet that person and to some extent TV um, radio music books you read fantasy stories romantic stories even we don't realize it we might not know but those things influence us from young and they influence us to think a certain way and to have like a certain image of a person in my case a man that i want to be together with and if that man doesn't meet up my expectations then it could end up in a relationship that ends up in pain, suffering, it just ends up the wrong way. Or you end up with someone that you're not happy with. And that is the danger, that is the thing where we're living in now. We're living in an age that we are so, I don't want to call it brainwashed, but we, we have been so brainwashed that we believe that what we have in our head, that that is the real version of love, the real version of, okay, this is what I want, and nothing outside of that is what I want, is what I'm going to get. So that is also what you're going to attract, but it doesn't mean that the perfect guy in your head is going to be the perfect guy for you. Because we are so used to look at the outside first than to look at the bigger picture. You know, you might have a girlfriend or an ex-girlfriend or a man that might not fit in your perfect picture but is the perfect guy for you. Once you realize that love is not the way that they try to put it onto us, there's a whole new world opening for you. And that's what happened to me. A new world opened for me. I didn't see it that way at first. I didn't see it that way. I had like, I want a man that needs to be this and needs to be that and he needs to have this and that. But realizing later when I get older and I have children is that all those things are not even important. What is important is that you are happy with who you are and you are happy with who your partner is. And he doesn't have to be, have to have a dream body. He doesn't have to have the best look in the world. Doesn't have to be the prettiest man in the world. Okay, financially, it will really help if the guy is financially stable and yourself. Because I don't think nowadays you should only count on your guy's income. You also need to have your own. But unfortunately, a lot of women think different about that, but that's just my opinion. It's always better to secure yourself than, than to just count only on the guy. So instead of staying in that bubble that we grew up with, we just need to be happy with what we have. We just need to be happy and content with what we have. That is what this world is missing, if you ask me. We are all not perfect and we all will never be perfect. That is just something that we have to accept. So I blend it like this. And I put half in the fish and the other half I will keep it for the tomato sauce. That is just something that we have to accept. As humans, perfection is an illusion. It's not real. But nowadays people are too much busy with, oh, I'm looking... That is what I want. I have this in my mind and it has to be this and it has to be that. And You'll be looking forever because nobody, nobody but yourself can match up to that image. 
nobody so that is a little bit the explanation of the song and how I meant it we just need to be happy with what we have and it, this this song is for men and women because you men you also have when you grow up you also have like a perfect image of a woman in your head like oh she needs to be tall she needs to be black she needs to be this she needs to be white i think everybody went through that phase and maybe you have to go through a lot of heartache to find out that this perfect illusion this perfect image of a woman you will never find and then eventually you settle down with someone you love but maybe sometimes you get like miss you know miss uh, understood or miss guided that you make certain decisions in life but in the end you choose her you choose him Accept or move on. It's that simple. I hope you guys took something from this song and you will listen it a few times and you will hear, see the real meaning of it. What's up, baby girl? What's up? What do you want? Nothing. Can you help me cut the potatoes, please? No. Please? No. I should leave? No. I'm not asking you, monkey. No. Go back to monkey town. Go back to monkey town, you monkey. Go. Go. I will put you there. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> we just came from monkey town. We went to monkey town this uh, afternoon. And I, I, when I have like so much work to do, I just pick up my children and I take them to Monkey Town because in Monkey Town they can run free, they can jump, they can do whatever they want and I can just do my work in peace. Well not in peace because all yelling children and shouting like ah! But I'm so used to that so it doesn't bother me. But I'm so happy that I had time enough to finish my video which is done now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out this evening and now I just Relax in the kitchen with Oyami. Oyami is going to help me cut the potato. Only my potato. Only the potato. It's good. You don't have to do more than that. I'm already happy. You're coming to help me. So once again, I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Stefa from Elysia Sounds because he is the master behind the tune. He is the master behind the mix. And he is the master behind this girl here. Yes, he makes me sound perfect. He makes me sound good. It, it's, it's just, I like working with Stefan. I, I really, I really like working with Stefan. He's just calm and cool and not stressed at all. Me, I, I'm, I'm, maybe it's something African or European, you know, that's the difference between us. Because we, you, no more. We Europeans can be very stressed very quickly, but that's because our lives are, different. yeah, different, different, good, yummy. But our lives here are a little bit more stressful than in Africa. Only good things for you, Stefan. Only good things for you. I have another tune that I'm working on right now. It's finished, but I still have to record it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it to Stefa and he's gonna do his magic on it and it will come out very soon again because I have been sleeping enough I have been chilling enough I will come with tunes good tunes good music good tunes hey 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 let's do this if you didn't see the video the song yet Please, 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 I beg you, you. go You're to my side and the kids. <laughs> go to my page, page and the kids. Check it. Check it. Check it, Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. And please leave a comment and let me know what you think of it. You can be honest. You can be critical. 
I'm still learning and I am eager to learn and I'm open to any comments that you guys have this is my second single that I'm bringing oh, oh yummy please this is my second single that I'm bringing out so I still I know I still have a lot to learn and I'm open to that so please guys leave a comment and like that and I like it and please share it also and make a mix make a nice mix you know I saw people made a nice nice mixes of the Villa Medellin song that I did I saw some nice uh, collaborations there so that's cool that's really nice so yay I'm growing I'm growing I'm growing Yummy, yeah. why are you slapping that cabinet so hard? Because What's I your problem? You. Okay, uh, I don't know. You don't know? Why is this green? I don't know. I like this one. Thank you. Nay, no, 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 no. You, that one. Because I'm faster with this one. So tomorrow, this week, Ooh. it's almost over and the children had holiday, but no, I didn't, I didn't do, oh man, why do you do that? Why you do that? If you want to say something, say something. I'm going to school. You, you go to school, I'm not going. <laughs> I am not going to school. You still have holiday till Sunday, uh, Monday. Perfection is an illusion. I do appreciate you for loving me. That's what I hint in. Perfection is an illusion. I do appreciate you. That's my new jam, yay! Jam or song? It's a new banga. Banga, banga, banga. This one the is a banga. Banga, banga, Give me the banga. Clutch. What's up, Dio? What's up? What's up? You good, What's up? You good What's up? in the hood? Yeah. Oh, show me your dance move. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sorry? Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! Not you! You get nothing. You you should go to Monkey Town. I don't want to lose control. But I think I like it. Yeah. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it I know, I know, I know, I know, I know I want you, I want you Okay, so the potatoes are almost peeled guys It takes so long, oh my gosh, so long Oh my gosh <sighs> Cooking in the kitchen with Oyami. It's so good, 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 good. I'm cooking in the kitchen with Oyami. I'm cooking in the kitchen with Oyami, oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Cooking in the kitchen with Oyami. And it's so good, 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 good. It's so good. I think that should be our team song. Every time we're cooking together, it starts with cooking in the kitchen with Uyami. Uyami. Girl, stop doing that. Stop.
stop doing that. You burn me. Uh, yeah. Uh, Put it in. Holy chocolate. <laughs> She's so yeah. fake. She's so fake. She didn't mean that at all. We're cooking the potatoes, potatoes. and I, I cook them like, um, them like um, five times, like five to ten minutes. minutes. And then I'm going to put them in the oven to get them nice and crispy. Girl! Totoch! Totoch! Guys, you know what Totoch means? Shut up! Can you Totoch, please? Can you Totoch, please? You know what Totoch means? It means. Shut up! And you know when Oyami was this big? She said. She was always saying Totoch! Totoch! And we never knew what it meant. But then one day, a friend of mine came by. And he was talking too much. And he was saying something about Oyami. And Oyami didn't like it. <laughs> and Oyami looked at him. <laughs> and she said, Totoch! <laughs> and the guy was like, what the hell? What is she saying? He said, that means shut up. And then he said, no, you shut up. And then she did this. Touch. <laughs> we will never forget that. So anytime Yami is angry and I say to touch, she knows what I mean. <laughs> it will stay forever. So I have cut the beans, uh? the flat beans, and I'm gonna add uh, some uh, carrots. Uh? Nice carrot. I love carrots. Yami, you want to cut? You want to peel the carrot? No, no, no. Peel it. You can peel, these One. are big, two, two, um, uh, bell pepper, bell pepper, bell pepper, oh, what are you making, young man? I'm just going to make some fish and veggies, nothing special, I don't like veggies, well, you're going to eat it, because it's healthy, and it's, and it's Pretty and it is healthy and it's not healthy and it's pretty and it's not pretty and it's healthy and it's not pretty and it is pretty Girl, and you not talk pretty. Too much. Girls, you are my mom. What does that have to do with you talking to me? You talk too much too. I did that for you. Fish has fried. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer, and then I will save it for the sauce. And these are the veggies we use: carrot, bell pepper, and beans. So once again, I'm gonna make the tomato steel, and I always use my favorite oil, which is um, Girl, you're disturbing my peace. Which is um, I forgot the name. Palm oil, yes. Which is which is palm oil. Are you done? No. <laughs> so fake. Like I was saying before, Oyami came with a wicked witch's laugh. My favorite oil is palm oil because it's very good for you. It's healthy, you shouldn't use too much, but, and it makes your food taste different. So I, I love it. If you never tried it before, you should try it with any stew. You can do it in any stew. You can use it in any, any type of food. 
but I prefer with chicken and fish, with fish and tomato stew as well. So that's a tip to try out. So next I'm gonna take the water out of the potatoes and I'm gonna put all together with the veggies in the oven because it tastes so good. Put some baking paper. end result now we're gonna gonna enjoy this uh, beautiful meal it's so I already yummy. ate it you like it yes and it's like this um so tasty um. so that was it guys see you in the next one mm -hmm. don't forget to like the video